I'm talking with Sarah McLean. She's the president and co-founder of Lane College Students for Life. And we've just finished a very special event, a uh, screening of a movie tonight. Why don't you tell us about the movie was? The movie is called Mafia 21, Black Genocide in 21st Century America. And it's actually about right here in America today, the black population is being eliminated. And actually 50% of black babies are dying in America today as a result of abortions because Planned Parenthood has eugenicist and racist roots that are still being carried on today in our society. And this documentary was exposing what has been happening throughout our history and that's still happening today. In the recent article in the Torch, there was a comment in there from an instructor in the African Studies program that could be interpreted as a threat. Have you seen any type of what she considered fallout from the, sh the screening of the movie tonight? You know, what's interesting is we were actually uh, warned through the grapevine to uh, uh, be prepared for some sort of demonstration or protest. So we were prepared. I'm um, expecting that there might be some sort of protest. Uh, there was not a protest, but interestingly, all of our flyers disappeared from the bulletin boards around the school. So it seems that even though there was not an actual protest at our event, it's almost like they were trying to get as few people as possible to attend. But we were surprised and delighted to find that even though the flyers were taken down, there were many people who showed up tonight and a lot of people who were really impacted and changed as a result. You've noticed that you have boxes stationed around the area for helping new parents in need. Mm -hmm. What other activities is the club doing to help parents who have chosen not to take the, the pro-choice route and made the, the choice for life? What are you doing? Well, right now we're involved, like you said, with um, collecting donations for baby clothes, diapers, uh, new items for new parents in need. But we're also um, involved in helping local pregnancy resource centers. We're supporting them through um, prayer, and we're actually in the process right now of trying to support them through um, raising money to donate to their organizations by fundraising that we're planning in the next few months. So we're also bringing girls um, to those centers and telling them about the pregnancy resource centers where they can find help in that situation. Now, as an actual club here at Lane, and you were founded in the fall, I believe, when do you have a do you have a particular time that you meet, or is that released? Yeah, well, we we normally meet on Wednesdays here at three to four p.m. this winter term, um, but we we kind of stagger, stagger it, and we have usually an event every other week and a meeting every other week. So it's a good idea to get on our contact information list so that you can find out when we're actually meeting here and when we're hosting an event each week. And if anyone wants to get information about Lane Students for Life. Where can they go and what contact information is there? Well, on Facebook you can find our group, which is Lane Community College Students for Life. It's an official Facebook page. And my email address that I respond to is lccstudentsforlife at gmail.com. And I will respond to that if you, uh, if you email there. And I will get you on the contact list, either by Facebook or email, whatever you prefer, even texting, um, to be able to get you in the loop, to be able to get involved in making a difference for life. Thank you very much for your time, Sarah, and thanks for Thank standing you. up for the freeborn.